Would you like to make a JotForm form field required in Salesforce? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm linked with your Salesforce account, be sure to grab it for free from the App Exchange. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm tab, and I'm gonna go ahead and utilize a form that I've created in the past for this example, just because it's gonna be super quick. So I'm gonna use this form right here. And if I scroll down, if I choose the name, I can see that this field is mapped to my account object. But let's say that I want this field to be required. Now there are three different ways that we can do that. The first is going to be to click on the properties gear. And then right here on the right, we can make it required. And now we see that there is a red asterisk, which denotes that it is a required question. Let's go ahead and turn it off. We'll X out of this. Now, the second way we can do this is to right click on any of the form fields. So if I right click on the form field, I can see here we have the require option. We see it's now on. So I'm going to go ahead and right click again and we'll unrequire. Now, the third way is a way to require and unrequire multiple form fields at a time. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a keyboard and you're going to choose either the control or the command button, depending on your keyboard. For me, it is a command. So if I press command and we can see that the name is already chosen. So if I come down here to email and choose email, we can see that both the name field and the email field are now chosen. Let's go ahead and do the signature as well. And then up at the top, we can see that we have duplicate, we have require, hide, and delete. So let's go ahead and require all of these. And then let's say, you know what, I changed my mind. Maybe I don't necessarily need the email to be required or the signature. I'm gonna choose the email, I'm gonna press command again, signature, I'm gonna go ahead and unrequire those. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about requiring or unrequiring your form fields within Salesforce, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.